Welcome back everyone. We're going to do another uh, another haul video. It's been a while since I've been able to make one with everything that's been going on in the world. And um, I picked up a few things uh, starting right before all this virus stuff happened. And um, I've been real sick uh, past like two weeks. Uh, nothing major, just basically caused myself to be sick. Um, I've been real depressed and it's been a not very good time, especially having to work uh, even more hours at work since this has all been happening and a lot of different things. But uh, I'm finally feeling up to making a whole video and showing some of the stuff that's come up. So we're gonna start right off. We're gonna show, uh, we got this Labyrinth lunchbox had this when I was young. Got it at a big uh, flea market I went to when I was a kid. I used to have it. And um, it went missing uh, along with a lot of other of my stuff from a long time ago when I was young, when I was in uh, high school. And it's good to have that back in the collection. Uh, next up here is, this is a CD booklet. Ozzy's new album. This is signed. Um, his uh, management team sent that out to me. I don't know if he sent it to other people too. I think they were selling them for a little bit as well, but um, they canceled my concert that I was supposed to go to this summer. Second time they've canceled it on me um, because of Ozzy's health, and I got that in the mail. So that's kind of cool. Next up here is. Um, July 6, 1968. This is issue number 13 of Rolling Stone. Tiny Tim on the cover. There's Adam back there. Haven't had a chance to really look through that yet. Uh, this is a picture that the seller sent with it. There's a picture of someone, presumably the seller maybe, I'm not sure, with Tiny Tim there and he's holding uh, the uh, issue of Rolling Stone. Next up is a poster from the 1999 remaster and release of the Yellow Submarine film. And, uh, it's the non-vinyl stuff, which kind of segues in. Well, not all the non-vinyl stuff. I got one more item here. Um, we have a comic book here. Not in the greatest shape, but got it for a very decent price. This is the Beatles, 1964, should be. Uh, I would assume so. Yeah, September, November, 1964. It's a comic book telling the story, the life story of the Beatles. Cool in color, it's got some cool pictures in there. Like I said, not in a very good shape by any means, but I got it for a pretty low price. And that's kind of my segue now into the vinyl, which is mainly what these hauls are about. Fair enough is uh, an upgrade copy here. This is Yellow Submarine, very clean copy in the shrink. Um, my copy is an original copy and isn't in that great a shape, the sleeve that is. Uh, this is a later pressing. You got the purple capital label there. But, uh, I'm really holding out for when this is all over. I can go back out and do some record shopping and find an original one to upgrade with. But for now, that will do. So, I'll move on this way here. This is one I picked up for a real cheap price. This is Ain't She Sweet. It's uh, Ain't She Sweet, The Beatles, and other great groups, group sound from England. So this is basically, you've got Ain't She Sweet, Sweet Georgia Brown, take out some insurance on Baby, Nobody's Child, all by The Beatles, or by Tony Sheridan and The Beatles. And then um, the rest are by a group called The Swallows, which are doing um, uh, mostly all Beatles songs, One With Your Hand For Me To You. Some of these covers are better than others, 
Um, this isn't in that great a shape, but it was real cheap, and I don't have a copy of, this, of that. So I add that to the collection. Um, this one here is a good segue here. I bought a big lot of records before all this stuff happened. Um, and um, it was mainly for this year. This is a copy of Meet the Beatles. Um, it's yeah, early pressing uh, in the shrink, which is the only reason I picked it up. I got a lot of other albums with it. Um, which I'm not going to spend too much time on here. A um, bunch of Elvis albums that weren't in any, any good shape. But these are the clean ones that I kept from it. Uh, Burn and Love, still in the shrink. Um, Elvis' Christmas album. Uh, Aloha from Hawaii, still in the shrink. And then um, the Monkey's first album, which is a nice upgrade. Still in the shrink with the Kmart type sticker there. It's pretty nice. And I showed this on an unboxing video. This is the Danzig Sings Elvis. This is the second copy that I got. Um, I'm not going to open that one. That one's going to be a gift for someone. Uh, next up here is the Tron soundtrack by Wendy Carlos. And then I have um, By Request by Wendy Carlos. And um, it's got some really good tracks on it. Um, the cover is just really cool. And then, um, last but not least is one I was really excited to get. I found this on, uh, Macari. And, um, I bought it and the seller canceled my order and a few days later it went back up for sale. Same price, same everything. So I bought it again and they sent it. But this is Joan Jett's first album. Self-titled album before it was called Bad Reputation. It was re-released. And it is signed, and it all checks out pretty legit. And it is signed to someone, but I um, separately bought this uh, Joan Jet ticket here to put over top of the name, so when I frame it, it looks pretty nice like that. And uh, that's everything for this video. See ya.